The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Ice water in his veins and death in his eyes. Randy Orton has left a trail of fallen that has spanned over two decades. And there are very few champions in this game who are more decorated than the Apex Predator. And we also know that when Randy Orton goes to that place, it's over. A competitor who knows what he's doing at all times. That's why there's only one Apex Predator, and his name is Randy Orton. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. Yes, Byron Big E's on Raw. And yes, Michael, I feel it. It's the power of positivity. Representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. A man who possesses freakish power and crazy athleticism. Make no mistake about it, this man truly rocks. And they don't call him big for nothing. We got Randy Orton ready to get things going here. One of the most decorated third generation superstars in the entire WWE. The Viper is definitely creating a legacy of his own. Orton seems to be in higher spirits these days, but inside the ring, he's looking to finish this one early. Well, that was a close call. That count was a bit too close for comfort. Punishing their opponent. Oh, a loving blow to the chest. And Big E falls to a counter. Oh, what a kick. Saw it coming. Close line. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. That was a power bomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. The hardest thing to account for against Randy Orton is his experience. How do you possibly counter a guy with two decades of in-ring action under his belt? Against an expert like Orton, it's all about watching him closely. You need to avoid his big moves and chip away at him. Awareness is going to be absolutely key. Viper in full control. Launches. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Launched with a belly to belly. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, what a chancery. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Big E letting his opponent know that he is all business now. He returns to the ring. Dominating shoulder tackle. The Viper shows his instinct.
Yeah, Orton showed there that he still hasn't lost his predatory instinct. Turned that one around. A downhill stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. The Viper. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of it. one way to get out of it. Nice. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression. Just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Uh oh, uh oh. This will make you fade fast. And now Big E is under immense pressure. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Oh, oh. stop right to the hand. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Shot to the gut will break things up. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Very effective. That move looks to have Stani big in. When the Viper strikes, he does not hold back. In control here with a swinging neck. Textbook. Orton now dictating the pace here. Big E has run into a roadblock. That's for sure. From the top. Oh, oh, piercing elbow. Into the pin attempt. Two. Oh, almost lost it all there. How close was that? Hooked up. And DDT. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Oh, is that all she wrote for Big E? Two. He kicks out somehow. What a kick out. The power of positivity lives on. Well, Big E used to say three ain't enough, and clearly that goes both ways. Orton a bit dismayed, but we know the Viper is adept at remaining on the offensive. Biggie has lost any momentum here. This devastating offense from Orton is so hard to prepare for. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? An absolute master class. Range down an elbow retaliation. The powerhouse of the new day has his opponent up. Well, that clinch things for Big E. will not perish. The Viper cannot be slain here tonight. Big E looking frustrated here, guys. He really needs to dial back in and refocus on the task at hand. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Big E switches it back around. Now oh, trampling the opposition. for Big E. Oh, 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 oh. We know what's coming next. Oh, boy, do we ever. Vintage Randy Orton. After that move, you can see that Orton's coiled up as the animosity is reaching a boiling point. Viper in full control. Launches. Oh, no. Not this. Orton's doing many a career. Orton might take it here. Shoulders down. What a hard 
hard-fought victory for this guy. He certainly earned it. Wait a second. He... Well, how about going to celebrate? This is uncalled for. This is ridiculous. Man, you won the match. Isn't that enough? This issue is so deeply personal. This is just insult to injury. to see high flying exemplified the following contest is a fatal four-way match making his way to the ring from san diego california weighing in at 175 pounds Ray Mysterio. a former world champion WWE Champion, Royal Rumble winner, Rey Mysterio has made a career out of stepping up. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And his opponents, first from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now, here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this because this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make him disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Johnny Wrestling has become Johnny Raw and representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! Yeah! Gargano is no stranger to success. He's main event at some of the biggest events in NXT history. And Johnny's well equipped to continue that upward trajectory on the main roster. Scratch. 
Birch and Claw through the independence through NXT. Now the spotlight is on Johnny Wrestling. And he will not give up that spotlight to anyone. as we kick off a huge fatal four-way match, and we're going to see Rey Mysterio looking for an early pin. He throws his shoulder up before two. Way too soon for him to be thinking about a pin. What a boot. Planet with the Bulldog. Great counter. You really have to have eyes in the back of your head in a match like this. Isn't that right, Corey? That's the truth, Cole. A fatal four-way is a match of constantly moving pieces where timing is everything. You really have to pick your spots here because you have three other superstars all gunning for the same thing. Check this out, guys. Double under. Iron's going to love this. The Doom Buster. Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Ooh, bullseye. That's how you impress. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flood the abilities. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Downward spiral. See ya. Vicious right forward. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And you know what to do next. Tossed into the corner. The jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Super human confidence of Ricochet as he reaches towards perfection. Oh my god. Now he's been put on the defensive. Right across the face. Oh, jarring back elbow. Nice top kick. Great elevation. Taken down with a chop block. And it's scouted. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. Johnny Wrestling in the zone and letting him know. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. And he gets delivered back into the ring. There's Gargano with a counter. Big time to a big time win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweep the legs. Stop. Climbs back inside. Oh, calf kick. That rebel heart on full display with a taunt from Gargano. Held in a perilous position. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent Brilliant attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Get him in the corner. Get back here. Leg Larry. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. Broken up with a fist to the face. Oh my god, what an elbow. Punishing the leg. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. He's back into the ring. Put down face first. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And the fatal four-way stipulation starting to show its effects here. Saw it coming and got out of there. Nicely done. Snap suplex so quick. Look more. 
Wait, goes through. What's next? Brain Buster. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. Sent into the corner. God. I'll oh, check this out. Ricochet from the top! Just 30! Amazing! 
of Rey Mysterio shining through in the clutch. What else does Ricochet need to do tonight? He's given everything, but still hasn't ended this. And responds with a counter of their own. He steps foot in the ring again. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Punch right in the head. What a forearm shiver! for our winner, pulling out all the stops in this fatal four-way. This match was just as chaotic as we thought it would be. It absolutely was, from bell to bell. Calls to the bell. We're underway. And the referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. Can, can someone please check on the official? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Oh, that hurt. Locking the wrist. Oh, hurt Courtney. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. This is just brute power. Release German. Incredible The tip lift German suplex. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. He'll head to the ring. Eric looking to keep up that Viking energy. Wild looking good out there, but maybe not the best strategy to start taunting.
Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with him. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Effective arm drag. And Corey Joaquin Wilde is a kind of hybrid luchador. What does one have to do to count for that? To quote Santos Escobar, if you see this man in the air, that's the end of you. So keep Wild grounded. Don't let him get confident or comfortable. Yeah. Oh. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. He's taking some good hits. to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Throwing your own body like that is insane. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Oh, smash! Three. Delivered into the barricade. He turns it around. Four. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, what a chancery. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contribute. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And he slides him back to the mat. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Great strength being shown here. runs in the mind. How am I going to be able to end this? To the sky. Diving cannonball sent on. Incredible agility. Surviving and considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. When surviving means you get your arm raised at the end, that means you won, Cole. Sorry it wasn't Three tough competitors in this triple threat. In the ring, we see Santos Escobar, Rob Van Dam, and Solo Sokoa. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you got to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. And when it's everybody for themselves, sometimes you just have to do what's needed to get the job done. There's common enemies everywhere.
everywhere. Solo does not think they stand a chance against him. Ooh, man, what a hit. And that holds RVD back. Going for it. Going to step through. Roll on their belly. And he locks in the Boston crab. Give up now. Trying to find a way out. Using his power to escape. Lifted way up. And there was some force on that move. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible. And some just go. On their belly. Submission hold, folding up the back here. Well, this isn't gonna quick ten attempts here. Looks like he's ready to bust some heads with that sledgehammer, gentlemen. He had it scouted. Oh, and a knee to the face. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Ooh, and Van Dam turns the tables. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Section has the arm all tied up. Suplex comes down across the head with the axe handle. Look at this, just one of barrage of stops. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is.
some stiff offense there. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Solo does not think they stand a chance against him. And that was a well-executed attack. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. And the cover for the win! And back to the ring. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to be. First with a waistlock takedown. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Top barely kicks out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Struggle to work with every move you make. 
Oh, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Left side of the spine buster. RVD getting ready. Scoop slam. Arm ringer applied. Big Lariat with the arm wrench. Very nice. Heading up. He's thinking back. Right hand down. Third star. Front splash. Escobar's in serious danger. Santos was ready there. Going for it. Going to step through. All on their belly. That stretch could lead to a snap. He gets there a few seconds longer, and this match would have been over. superstars involved in this car hitting triple threat. I have to say, I'm just as impressed by this win as the WWE Universe. Triple threat matches are no joke. So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. 
Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. They're not wasting any time to cover. Powering out at one. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Oh, a running Dragon Rana. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Whoa. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Oh, There's a snap mare delivered and goes down low with the drop kick. Oh, and Theory fights back. Toss back into the ring. in this match tonight. You'd think it might hurt him, but Theory's natural abilities have been more than enough to offset any inexperience. As long as he doesn't let this one get away from him, he'll be in good shape. Tilt the world head scissors. Take things into the ring. Uh -oh. oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not from the top. And that holds Fairy back. Oh, man. Well placed kick. Answering back. Slam the door yet. <laughs> Tying up their opponent. Great buster to the knee. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse court. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Off the theory looking to end this. West went down in a heat. It's the cover. Oh, he gets the shot before three. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Oh, well, the advantage is turned towards Theory. And Theory's natural ability is shining through. He's in good shape this time. Take down into the Achilles lock. Oh, 
just tap out. Just tap. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. Takes a lot of guts to kick out after that maneuver. I'll give him that. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. I'll tell you this, guys. No competitor here is looking to give in. It's going to take a lot to end this fight. We are just seeing sheer perseverance. Nothing is being left back. This, we got a cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. Scarily close to three. Nice right hand. Tying up their opponent. Great buster on the knee. That's oh, going to be interesting. Kick to the midsection. Oh, look at this. Oh, taxi out. Will that clinch it for theory? So this Chalk up a win for them in this match, and I think it's safe to say it's all thanks to that fairly vicious attack we saw. Let's not ruin this moment of celebration. They earned this. Earned it with sneaky tack. Michael, Corey, time to get your swag up. The fall is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. Man, Montez Ford just loves to have a good time. Oh, he sure does, but right now it's time to get serious. Maybe Nancy now, but is he going to be ready when the bell rings? He'd better be. Oh, just loosen up, guys. Enjoy the fun. Unstoppable enthusiasm for competition. Cup in hand, ready for a good time. But we'll throw hands at any time. The Irish ace, ready for a fight. And his opponent, from Bray, Kelly Wicklow, Ireland, 
Weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. has recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. You know, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone. J.D. McDonough is a competitor who changes the landscape wherever he competes. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, J.D., J.D., fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. The Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, looking to inflict his own brand of hard-hitting offense in the ring here. The necessary evil the WWE needs. J.D. McDonough has an incredible work ethic in the ring, and it's often proven to be too much for his opponents. Yeah, and because of that, Corey, it's hard to yeah. deny that McDonough is one of the most promising superstars that WWE has seen in recent years. And then there's Montez Ford, who might have more swagger in his pinky than the rest of the locker room has combined. Yeah. The jokes, the attitude. Montez really just carries himself with a ton of confidence. Ford has instant star power. It's something we noticed right away when he first showed up. You take one look at this guy, and you know the sky's the limit. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. of J.D. McDonough has proven difficult for many opponents to overcome. Corey, do you think that's the case in this match tonight? The aggression is McDonough. This could do it. And he manages to kick out in one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. He's absorbed some damage already. Vicious right forearm. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Montez Ford with a strategically placed shot. Two. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Such intensity from Ford. And McDonough getting frustrated, leaving himself open to attacks. McDonough needs to reformulate a game plan. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Ah, oh, stops the legs. JD looking to hype himself up here. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Uh-oh. He's got the answer for that one. Looks like this looks like the setup too. Chinatown combo. Highly effective. Hit that just as hard as his opponent does. And Ford's signature swagger couldn't help him out against that offense. Yeah, and it looked like JD is dead set on destruction with that move. I mean, this has been a physical battle since the get-go. It has been everything we have expected between these two men. Yeah, I think this man has uh, had enough. Can you blame him? You can't be serious. Time to walk away and fight another day. He's actually going to leave the match? Certainly appears to be the case. Wait a second. Maybe oh, not. Oh, oh, where the hell did he come from? Hey, goodness he was here. There's no escape for this superstar. Yeah, they're going to have to see this match through the end. Shoulders down. Oh, and a kick out. Kicked out, he kicked out. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? 
Look out! The dive! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Saw that one coming. And that might start the momentum swing that Montez needed. Ford weathered the storm and is looking to rain down some damage of his own. Expected that one. Oh, man. Look at this. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. The foot DDT. connects and he gets delivered back into the ring climbing to the top rope launcher oh, this match may be nearing its limit at this point in my Sure. I don't know where he found the energy to kick out of that, but Montez did it. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, face stop. Double leg takedown, crushing double stop. As the R bar stretch in. Oh. And JD's keeping the pressure on. Let's see what McDonough can do with the opportunity. Measured knee drop. And Ford has suffered a lot of damage at this point. You have to imagine Montez can't tuck things out for much longer. Carefully, a knee drop delivered. So precise. Yeah. Oh my, countered into a bone rattling uppercut. I gotta say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. And that was a well executed attack. Is that all she wrote for McDonough? Look at Montez go, attacking with unbridled confidence. Set up for a second time. Oh, no, Ford on the first here. Oh, no wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Montez Ford. Man, I was really hoping they'd shut him up here. Credit where credit's due when it comes to the victory, but it seems their disrespectful ways will unfortunately remain intact. That was what you call a statement win, gentlemen. They just put the whole locker room on notice. Respect is earned, not given. Hell, you can even try and take it. So the question tonight is this, who is the real face that runs the place? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're gonna see it on display tonight courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume 
that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. John Cena. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Now one time to do it. Let's do it. One of the most powerful competitors in WWE history. Now, never give up isn't just a t shirt, it's a legit way of life. Big match, John, ready to go to work here tonight. It goes like this, eras change, championships are won and lost, but there is one constant, and that one constant is John Cena. atmosphere in a sold out arena as the WWE Universe once again gets to see the rivalry between AJ Styles and John Cena unfold. John Cena has made his life about everything in WWE. AJ Styles is trying to prove that he's the new face that runs the place. So much pride is on the line here tonight. The two superstars from the same generation took very different paths to get to WWE and it all matters for nothing now. Like you said, Byron, it's about pride. It's about showing that you're the best that sports entertainment has to offer. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, the apron. The hardest part of the ring. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. No. Slingshot sent on. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. And did you hear the impact of that? Ooh, that got turned around on Styles. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. And he slides him back to the mat. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Display of power. Well, this won't win. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Well, this crowd is going to have a little company. Ripper. He climbs into the ring. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Straight up down the throat. Come on, shoulders are down. Jeff's using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Great reversal. Able to elude it. He avoids the damage. Cena's able to evade. Oh, oh. 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 
Here, up in the suplex. Oh, no. And a bit of disruption there for Cena. That was one way to get things phenomenally done. Jab to the bridge of the nose. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. Cena is really fired up, not giving Styles any inch of breathing room. Cena with a shoulder tackle. Big match, John. Don't throw a punch. Don't throw a punch. Oh, that never works. It's that time again. Time for the five knuckle shuffle. Just yet. Cena letting his opponent know who's in charge here. Styles taking it by surprise. Styles ready to strike. Cena's in trouble. Cena's in trouble. Oh, shoulder up before three. You can't deny Cena's penchant for the dramatics. Probably one of the closest two and nine tens guys I've ever seen. Styles absolutely thought that was it. Who could blame him? Type of match that earned Cena the big match John moniker. I wouldn't sell style short, Saxton. Matches that feel this big take equal. Flying. That's gonna be it. Two, three, no. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Styles looking for it. There it is. The Styles finish the job here. Appreciation. An incredible sight to see. No way. Nobody home. AJ still holding the upper hand now. Cena has to find a way to reassert himself. He's taking this to the floor now. Great response. A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. And Cena starting to falter here. Styles really making good here on his longtime promise to beat up John Cena. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, face first off the post. Set on the top rope. Staring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Up high. You gotta be kidding me. 
And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. It's all AJ right now. You can't deny the precision we're seeing from AJ. Boom. Head first. Oh, my gosh. What impact. Crushing the hamstring. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Oh, flipping the script on him there. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. And now we're seeing firsthand how love him or hate him, Cena thrives off the WWE Universe. Stepping things up a little bit there. Superstar trying to build. Here it comes. Right here, this blow after blow. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Cena's persevering. I think we're going to see it. Step through. Yes. He hits it. Dials clash. Did they take it all of it? Try and end it. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles proves once again to be the face that runs the place. Mr. Cena, your house has a new caretaker. The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back. And ready to stake his claim atop WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! A man who's made it his mission to show the power of the Rhodes name. The son of the dream who is set to become every competitor nightmare in WWE. A man who began his WWE career with a legacy to uphold, but soon became a star who left them all in the dust. Yeah, I think we can all agree his time away has turned him into one of the toughest competitors in all of sports entertainment. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And his opponent, accompanied by MVP from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique it's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train.
This man may consider himself a star, but Cody intends on leaving him in the dust. Cody Rhodes will kick things off. Really one of the more remarkable careers in the history of our business, wouldn't you say? He likes to say he went from undesirable to un-GD deniable. I'll keep it PG and simply say he has done it all and found a way to make everything work. And a major step in that work will be the challenge ahead of him. And in the other corner, you're staring at one of the most dangerous athletes to enter a WWE ring. Good luck surviving any onslaught from the almighty. That survival could be one's only hope, Corey. And that might be all you have against Lashley. Oh, what a drop kick. Oh, he knew what was coming. The cover, shoulders down. Oh, my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. That's a free fall. Cody Rhodes is extremely passionate. But that could be a hindrance in certain situations, right, Corey? Not passion so much as emotion. Cody's no hothead, but he can get lost in the moment, and that's when you have to strike. The moment will be fleeting, but it does happen from time to time. Oh, drop. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Producing a trampling. Oh, no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Throwing breaker. And into the count. Two. He narrowly avoids the count. This could be a tipping point in this match. He's got a lot in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap out. 
It is locked in. Paul Nelson locked in pretty good here. Oh, look at the power. That's tremendous power. He gets the break. Absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, I think Lashley put all of his might behind that. Oh, an arm breaker. Uh oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Caught by the back of the elbow. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Uh-oh. Reversal on Lashley. his decision. WWE Universe, pay your respects to the Tribal Chief. The ultra-dominant Roman Reigns and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by their special counsel, Paul Heyman from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns! Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, a record-breaking champion. And with that success comes plenty of right-hand men. For Roman Reigns, it's all about the power. On, and go. he has all the power.
He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. Stepping up to the tribal chief and the entire bloodline. I hope this guy brought a lunch because it's gonna be a long, long night. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins have been intertwined their entire careers. You can say that again. How many people did these two destroy in the shield? Too many to count, but that trio's down to two now, and only one of them can rule the roost here. You can bet Reigns wants it to be him. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness. There's a jumping knee drop. So precise. What a beautiful for Moonsault. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Lands the knee drop. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forward to the back. <clears throat> Ducking out of trouble. What a shot. That's mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off nap time on the island of relevancy the architect gonna have to dis he needs to find an escape prop nice kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Yeah. Right, uh. is just a step too slow. Vaulting plancha, incredible. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that Two. was. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up power bomb. You have to question what kind of Malin 10 is behind a power bomb with that much force. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Coming back in the ring. And Roman Reigns 
is your winner. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. When a match is decided by count out, it leaves you wondering where this match could have gone.